When the cat's away, Mr. Anderson shall play. Some silver case. The game originally released in 1999 and was Grasshopper Manufacturer's first title to be released for the PlayStation. This was also uh, designed by Suda51, or Goichi Suda, uh, the man behind No More Heroes 1 and 2, Shadows of the Damned, Killer's Dead, Killer 7, and an unofficial sequel called Flower, Sun, and Rain, which was released in on the DS, which I have played, and that's what led me to this game. However, originally, this game was never released in America. The Silver Case. So I got Flower, Sun, and Rain beforehand on the DS, uh, which really has no connection to this game. However, the ending... Um, as far as I know, the ending is where the connection comes in. So I had to look up the ending, and I found out that it had something to do with this game. Um, this is a graphic novel adventure game. Um, it's highly... it's a lot of reading. Um, so I just want you guys to sit back, relax. I'll read to you. I'm probably not going to interject as much, since the reading is so heavy. Um, there is sequences in the game where you do move around, very similar to the Hotel Dusk series. If, if you have not played Hotel Dusk, you should. It's on the DS. It's a wonderful game, as well as this being a wonderful game. <clears throat> so, sit back, relax, and let's play The Silver Case. <clears throat> and we shall play it in English. Who am I? Mr. Anderson. Ooh, I spelled that wrong. Uh, we'll just call myself Mr. Anders, since I don't have any more room. Okay. Lunatax. Tick. Kanto Government Special Administration Region 24 Wars. In accordance with the increasing population, it has become segmentalized into five areas. Among the inhabitants selected by the public vote, 80% are poor and 20% are wealthy, creating a rift in the ec economic strata. Now, there is some characters' names um, that are Japanese. Actually, all of them are Japanese, being taking place in Japanese. I'm probably going to butcher some names. However, another annoying tick that this game has as well, which makes it kind of confusing, is the characters' names are not shown uh, while they are speaking. However, uh, they do appear for brief seconds on the, on the screen, so it can make it a little confusing to understand who is talking at which time. Anyway, onwards. The most outstanding source of conflict among the classes is caused not by the difference in income, but by the discord between those with easy access to information and those without. The number of crimes has skyrocketed, and related information, information is propagated using news, news shows and communication intelligence networks as media. A population of 100,000 people. Mayor Hachisuka enters his fifth term of office. The Metropolitan Police Department's heinous crimes unit, which, for some reason, it originally was on the original PlayStation version, the High Degree Murder Division. Don't know why they changed it. But the Heinous Crimes Unit is an organization that immediately eradicates transmittable crimes. It is a group of experts coordinated by Chief Special Agent Shinji Kotobuki. Sorry if I said that wrong. An investigator who made a name for himself within the Silver Case. Silver Case, head and former regional special agent, also known as the man who arrested Kumai, 24 Area 2nd Heinous Crimes Division, Special Agent Tetsugoro Kusabi was on his way home. Tetsugoro Kusabi, age 44. It happened one night in the dead of winter. January 29th, 1999, Friday, Kusabi's car, 11.32 p.m., heading home on a really skinny road. Kusabi, what is this, a fucking lullaby? 
Zombie. Fucking radio. Playing nothing but shit. Was this road really this long? On nights like this, weird shit happens. That's just the way it is. What? I got a bad feeling. A re real bad feeling. Did you get a premonition in your coffee? He's got a head in his hands. Hey man. Uh, also to note, a lot of this, uh, a lot of the themes from this game do carry o carry over to his other games. Suda's 51's other games. The hell is that? Ah! He's got a gun. He matrix, matrix that shit. He took a shot, that fucking punk. Pardon my French, guys, there is a lot of cursing in this game. And he disappears. That punk is crazy. His ass is going down for sure. This is Kusabi. Anybody there? Respond. Hachi Hachisuka. This is Hachisuka. Where's Sumio? Hachisuka. He left. Oh. Something happened? A man with a gun just fired shots and fled near the river in East Ward. Call in the closest units. I don't know if that's East Ward or just E Ward. It might just be E Ward. Where to? He's heading west in E3. Got it. We'll pinpoint him from here. Have you been injured? Nope. I dodged that shit. Ball style. I dodged the slug. Watched it whiz right by. But he sort of said what I said. Huh? Nothing yet. Nothing yet? Got it! Where? Is it within the jurisdiction? Hold on. Public safety? Those covert op guys. Natsumi's guys, huh? Okay, call them in. Got it. Shit. TGIF my ass. Lock and load, baby. No pinpoint yet? Target pinpointed. Cauliflower. The private railroad satellite? Perfect place to lie low. I'm gonna rush the spot. Send the location to Natsumi for me. Got it. This game is also considered an unofficial sequel to Twilight Syndrome, Goichi Suda's project you work with humanism. So theoretically, it's part of a trilogy. The first mayor of the 24th Wards, Karo Hachisuka, launched the government's anti-conflict reform. With the Department of Communications, the Department of Finance structured around the former TRO, and the Department of Environment, the Department of Investment structured around the former CCO, he fostered the sweeping organizational reforms to success. But the Department of Security, with the Central Police Department's Heinous Crimes Division, former TRO faction, 
and the Public Security Department's Security Security Secret Security Division. Sorry about that. Former CCO faction was com uh, was comprised of two separate factions. The Public Safety Department to compete with the Heinous Crimes Division established Republic Special Forces Unit to handle secret security issue cases. Silver Case head and former Regional Investigation Unit investigator Daigo Natsumi was offered the position of commander. Natsumi then scouted Sakamoto, Inomata, and Mr. Anders for the unit. Yes, they got me. The best of the best. For the Republic's first campaign, they ironically r run into the Heinous Crimes Division, so I was wrong with the name of Heinous Crimes Division. As Natsumi and Kusabi's fates intertwine, the dark clouds of the Silver Case loom. A long night lies ahead of Daigo Natsumi. Sorry, just having some tea. January 30th, 1999, Saturday, Republic Railcar. 12.15 a.m. Dispatch. A detective under an A jurisdiction is already en route to the scene. Cauliflower. The target is at Cauliflower, an E3. We're currently closest to the scene. We need to pretend we just happened upon the scene. That's Natsumi. HQ confirmed the target and made the decision to get us involved. That means that this is a, sec a secret security authorized case. Keeping our movements under wraps is our top priority. But unfortunately, a jurisdiction detective happened upon the scene, making things a bit difficult. We need to keep the amount of info let out at a minimum. You may come into contact with the detective, but avoid any unnecessary contact at all costs. It's like the mystery machine. Chief, what about contact in the range of level W or higher? I love that mustache, man. Disposable. Disposal will be a problem. Keep it at level Y or below. That's Sakamoto. Got it. I'll be explaining the plan simply. Save questions for after me. Armament of level X or below has been approved. What you carry is up to you. After entering Cauliflower in E3, leave the target to Cauliflower Roof. Proceed with disposal. That is all. Any questions? Chief, how should we carry out disposal? I'll leave that up to you. I'll provide remote support. I know Moto? Mata? I think his name is? What if capture is possible? I believe I said that this was a secret security authorized case. Do you need me to explain further? Inumata. That will not be necessary. Anything else? That is all. Just because this is your first real fight doesn't mean you need to be overly vigilant. He who masters his own mind smiles in the end. Stay relaxed till you reach the scene. Sakamoto. Inamata, can't you calm down? I'm about to lose my shit here. Then force it back down. I can't. My mind is cutting me off. If you can't force it da down, then at least control yourself. You're gonna die. Okay. I'm scared too, to be honest. It's my first time in the flesh, you know? Sorry, but let me focus. This is totally different from training. Remember, Mr. Anders? Our training maneuvers up north? It was the first time you shot real bullets, yeah? But that wasn't the first time for me. Back when I was in the Syndicate, 
old school bullets. They gave them to me to take to, uh, to Sabaki's head off. Of course, they are modded to the point that they might blow your goddamn hand off. I'd already thrown my life away, so I didn't care. No matter what would have happened, man, Sakamoto has been a bad guy when he was younger. Thinking about it now, being young, I should have been full of hope. But it didn't matter then. Young, old, <clears throat> whatever. I got handed a piece of paper piece and jumped in like a maniac. Just popping caps all over the place. That doesn't sound too violent. I missed every shot. All of a sudden, I was surrounded. Ten guns pointed right at me. That's when I first met the chief. Why did, why did he choose me? He told me to put my life in his hands, <clears throat> and he took me in. Same for you too, right, Mr. Anders? Picked up by the chief. And Amata too. Don't think about your own life. Believe in him. We'll carry out our lives. We've put our hope we've put our hope in him. Don't forget it. Same day. Cauliflower. 12.29 a.m. Arrivals. It's a beautiful moon. Where's Natsumi? We'll be arriving at Cauliflower E3 soon. like Dr. Wily's tower a little bit. Well, without the skull. The music's pretty kicking too. We'll decide on formation after entry. We'll get instructions from HQ over the radio. You guys are basically like guinea pigs. Oh, that makes me feel better about this whole situation. Refrain from acting arbitrarily and prioritize the collection of sample data. Any questions? That is all. Okay, sync your watches. Sakamoto, count us down. Got it. Countdown to zero. Start the countdown in normal time. Don't forget it. This is not an exercise. You need to remember that this is the real thing. However, in this game, I don't believe there is a way to die. Again, this is an actual fight. Come back alive. That is all. Good luck. And this is where it all falls apart. Guinea pigs, huh? What a way to win us over. One of your soldiers? So it was you. I heard you were back in the field. You too, right? If it wasn't already readily ev uh, evident, the blue square is, is indicating who is talking. It would be nice to have the name as well on the square, but hey, we can't have everything, right? Looks like one final gamble to me. I don't gamble. I'm in the self-defense unit. What about you, Kasabi? I started that thing up. Because of the silver case. 
The heinous crime unit, huh? I thought you'd come too. I didn't think we'd meet up like this. I can never go back there again. I'm not as strong as, as strong a man as you, Kusabi. It's not about that. It's because they could use you. That's strength. Being young and all, just like your soldiers. You've got your young ones to take over the next generation. There's still plenty of shit you gotta show them. Kusabi. Natsumi. It's not just you anymore. Don't overwork yourself. We still got a long ways to go. What is this silver case they keep talking about? They may that may be true. How's Sakura doing? She just turned 22. I guess he has a daughter. She'll be graduating college this year. They get so big. How is she? Has she become a proper woman yet? She takes after my wife. Real stubborn. You know how she is. She's not a little girl anymore. That's not a good thing. Oh, sorry. That is a good thing. Even if she acts like she hates you. Your daughter's still more precious than anything. Really? Chief, we're moving in. Okay. Sakamoto, going first. Then let Inamata and Mr. Anders. Got it. That's enough nostalgia for now. I'll back you guys up too. Thanks. It's basically a war zone. And we are officially in the game. This is Natsumi. Do you read me? Loud and clear. Inamata and Mr. Anderson, Anders, are both okay. I'll forward you to the set points. Get on your respective points and get into formation. Got it. Mr. Anders, calm down. I am calm. Wait for my orders. Same position. Inamata, do you read me? Obstacles in front of you create a blind spot. Make sure to get proper confirmation. Don't forget that the perp is armed. Or you'll get yourself selves killed. I know. Stop fucking around, you idiot. Whoa, whoa, I'm not fucking around. You're in the nucleus of the 24 Wards Private Railroad. Innocent citizens are going to get killed if you start shooting like a maniac. Got it. Sakamoto, go in ahead. Relieve Mr. Anders. Why are you leaving me, huh? I'm not doing anything wrong. Got it. Mr. Anderson? Anders? Listen up. Sorry, people say Mr. Anderson. There's a plate up ahead of you. Check it out. Going up to the second floor, Chief. Wait, don't move yet. Got it. Okay, Mr. Anders, get moving. It'll take some time before you get used to the control. And it'll seem complicated at first. But don't worry. You'll get used to it. It'll get easy quickly. When the menu opens, set the command to M and press the accept button. Use the directional keys to move. Alright, so... This is a little weird. <clears throat> so in order to do certain things, you have to hit, like for move, it's M. So we move with the arrow arrow keys, which I usually mess up with the AWSD uh, keys. So let's go back. I is for implement. So we can use our gun and other items that we've collected. We don't have anything else besides your gun. S. We can use this to save, which we'll be doing in a few minutes. Because this game has an nasty habit of not letting you save in between exploring. C. So, this allows us to look to look at certain things. Such as Inamata. No time to screw around. 
Hurry up. All right, let's see what Sakamoto has to say. Mr. Anders, check out the plate. The gameplay is pretty simple. Let's see if I can check this out. Sakamoto, can you pinpoint the utility point? Calculating now. Inuata, send your movements over this way. Got it. Forwarding now. It's finished. Got it. Entering collaboration. I'll explain the commands. M is movement. This is how you move around. Use the directional keys to move forward, back, left, and right. Hold the accept button to move quickly. Use it well. C is contact. Use this Use this to touch stuff. When you see the sun symbol in front of you, you see. I is implement. This is for tools. I'll let you work out where to use it. S is save. This is for records. You may save on any point. Try saving once. As I said earlier, it may seem complicated. You can do it, Mr. Andrews. I believe in you. Oh, thanks, Chief. That, that is all. Alright. So, we're actually going to pop a save now. Right click brings us back because we are heading up on the 30 minute mark. Let's pop that save. Yes, I did play this a little bit before, but I haven't played it all the way before. And I believe we are saved. Yes. Alright. Well, anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoy both my Let's Plays. <clears throat> I will be playing Deadly Premonition and this back to back. So when I upload a video of Deadly Premonition, I will upload also a video of The Silver Case. Anyways, enough with that. Uh, thank you very much, and have a good night. Bye.